She begged for my forgiveness and I tried to put what happened to one side. But I soon discovered our relationship could never be the same again. What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post. Guys, I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. But you guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So, mirror.com.uk Cheating wife begs me to stay. I've been with my wife for 25 years and last year I found out she had been cheating. Dear Miriam, I've been with my wife for 25 years and last year I found out she had been cheating. She'd been having an affair with a man she met on the internet. We have three children. The youngest is at university. I believed her when she said she was staying over at her sister's when in fact she was meeting him. She begged for my forgiveness and I tried to put what happened to one side, but I soon discovered our relationship could never be the same again. So I was asking a solicitor to set the wheels in motion for a divorce. Good. On the day I told her, she threatened to off herself. She keeps telling me she will do it unless I take her back. I'm certain I want a divorce and I don't want to be held hostage by her threats. But I'm frightened. What if she did do it to herself? The person he's writing to replied and says, She's making herself into the victim when she has only herself to blame for the mess she's in. But it's clear she isn't coping well with the fallout from her affair and your reaction. She's in a state of shock. This wasn't supposed to happen. You were supposed, you were supposed to forgive her. After all the tears, begging and pleading, he resorted to emotional blackmail to try to manipulate you. Emotional blackmail is a form of bullying, and it's wrong. You can't stay in a relationship for fear of what she might do to herself. You're not responsible for keeping her alive. She's responsible for her feelings and actions. Nor should you stay out of sympathy. Good relationships are based on mutual respects. And it seems you've lost all respect for her. But for the sake of your children, you could offer some positive support to help her move on to a life without you. You could both enter counseling to help each other, to help each of you in the transition from cohabitation to separation. Do you think she'll agree? Even if she doesn't, it would be good for you to rationalize your feelings with an impartial listener. If you have any lingering doubts about about ending the marriage, you can explore them in counseling to be sure feelings of shame, humiliation, and anger aren't driving your action. Wow, let me give my thoughts. At this point, she disrespects you like that? Look, hold on. You caught her cheating. She didn't come confess anything to you. Let's see. You found out she had been cheating. I'm guessing you, you caught her cheating. If you would have never caught her, you think she would have stopped cheating? Absolutely not. She had her husband paying the bill. She had her family. She has nothing to worry about. And she gets her little side piece on the side. And you know nothing about it. But you found out. Now she's all but her crying. Oh, please don't leave me. I love you. Okay, if you do, I'm going to do this. All right, that's on you. That's on you. I, I, I'm not going to suggest that you go through with it, but I'm leaving. It's over. Sad. She's losing her meal ticket. She probably never had to pay all the bills. You know, she had a nice life. And she thought she could be sneaky and get her a little side dude, and it didn't work out. Hmm. Hmm. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'll catch you guys at the next one.